feels like my heart already stopped too much stress bones to reset deep press six deep press forget all the rest go i got let go of everything that i've ever known deep press slow gotta take it so cause that's the fastest way that i know deep press six deep press till the fear subsides so it's posting a song about the stuff that Estevez was saying at the beginning. Start over here. September 13, 2023. Notes regarding the concept of the tortured artist. A romanticized image of the sensitive artistic temperament, yes. But there may be truth in the cliche. It's no secret Rudolph Lane has been unhappy here for years. But, uh, the aggregate data shows his art's viability score trending upward over time. If Jules hadn't neglected to hold regular psychological exams, then we could have quantified the subject's emotional state, creating a sort of distress rating to compare against the art score. I'll make this a sub-goal of my study of Edward Booker. Once we set the variables and establish a control reading of his art and mental state, then we can begin inducing negative emotion. Limited food and water, perhaps. What? An increasingly tight living space. What? This is how Jules lost his subject, though. We need to be careful not to leave any sharp objects in Booker's cell. So she's gonna do to Booker what her husband did to Lane. Or that was her attempt, at least, her thought process. Follow-up report, and is this the... Oh, okay. On the morning of Redacted, the musician held at Lake House for research purposes was discovered missing from her cell. Security footage of the cell from the night before was damaged by electrical interference of an undetermined nature. Redacted, known professionally as Redacted, has produced a song called Six Deep Breaths during her time... Is Poe canonically... Is Poe our Sam Lake? Uh, research, okay. Redacted somehow used her song to orchestrate her escape. Efforts to find Redacted were brief with any wider search considered unacceptable risk. That's crazy. They should have called me. I know where Poe is. Oh. An investigation is currently ongoing as to whether any staff at the Lake House were involved in the disappearance of Redacted. An investigation is currently ongoing as to whether the subject used the song they created as Redacted Means of Escape. All material related to and work produced by Redacted will be stored in the archive for future reference. Online checks for the public reappearance of Redacted are to be performed weekly. Known web addresses associated with Redacted in the past, known addresses with peri-utilitarian slash AW activity, doing this i'm doing this all right how deep does this rabbit hole go this house of dreams dot blog spot dot io i don't even think that's a real thing io is the one under it derp i really screwed that up didn't i 
There's so- what the shit? There is so much here? There is so much here right now? Okay, hold on, hold on. Would it behoove us to do this and bring it up in a window? Hold on, we might as well just do it this way. Poe's real name is not Samantha. Anyway, uh, it's Samantha Wells' blog prior to control. This is full on bonkers. Okay, from the bottom, older posts. Okay, so this will be the first one. Introduction. I fulfilled my lifelong dream and bought an old house. This blog will follow the process uh, as I renovate the house into the house of my dreams. It's going to be an exciting adventure. Welcome aboard. I've never seen this before. This is something Sam Lake did as like a, a thing. Oh, and exploring the nooks and crannies of my future home has unearthed some real treasures. The previous owner left all kinds of stuff in the attic. More on that next time. Took some photos today of the fun work ahead. As you can see, this will take a while, but I'm up for a challenge. Some of my friends think I'm crazy for doing it myself. Yes, I'm talking about you, Aunt Andrea and Jen. I'm already browsing your wallpaper catalogs. First night in the house. I spent the night in my future home for the first time. It was almost like camping indoors. I had a sleeping bag. There was a weird flapping noise that kept me awake all night. I found a dead wren in the attic earlier. There was a broken window. And I imagined that there was a bird trap somewhere inside the walls. Not a nice image to think about, sorry. Toys in the attic. As I mentioned earlier, the previous owner left all kinds of stuff in the attic. Her daughter told me uh, they have no use for them. I can do what I want with them. I've always been fascinated by attics. As a child, I used to sneak up to my grandparents' attic to explore. It always felt like a magical, mysterious place. Slightly scary, but not too much. So filled with forgotten treasures waiting to be discovered. I felt that way the past few weeks. Time to get out of here. Some photos. Is that the broken window? Creepy old chair. Jugs. Gotta love a good jug. Threads. Buttons. Oh, buttons. Obviously put in one of those uh, cookie trays. Most wonderful discovery made so far, uh, written sheets of poems and black and white photographs. Photographs and scans of those soon. This, is, this was from the old ARG. I've never seen this before, ever. Not once. Black and white photos, I found the attic. Black, right, the photos depict a young man getting in and out of a wetsuit. And the woman, I'm guessing his wife or girlfriend, helping him. He could be a diver. Here comes the weird part. Their faces are covered with black ink stains. It must have been done on purpose, as only the faces are covered. Delicious. Uh, mystery. Right, right, interesting. Shoebox dream. Okay, I'm freaking out just a bit here. I saw a really bizarre nightmare last night. I know it's supposed to be a blog about my new house, but the dream is related to that. And on the other hand, look at the name of the blog. This isn't what I meant when I came up with the name, but now it feels strangely appropriate, don't you think? In the dream, I heard the doorbell ring and went to open the door. There was a man there. He said he was a federal agent. He showed me his badge and all, just like the FBI agents do in the movies. Here comes the scary part. There was something wrong with his face. It was leaking inky smoke so that I could not see what he looked like. When I woke up, I realized that this image totally came from the ink-covered faces in the photos, of course. See previous post. The man asked me about the shoebox. He said it contains top secret information and that I need to give it to him. I got scared that he'll put me in jail and went to get the shoebox, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I searched the whole house, but it was nowhere. Then I went to the bathroom to look for it and saw myself in the mirror. My face was covered with inky smoke as well. And that's when I woke up. When I think back 
When I think back to the dream, it didn't say FBI on his badge. It said A-W-E. This is the weirdest thing of all. Now I can't find the shoe box anywhere. I've looked everywhere I could think of. I'm sure that it will turn up somewhere. There's just so much junk lying around. Right, right, right. Okay. And then we can go back to the future. Okay. This was 6.36 p.m. A couple of guys came over to do some plumbing work Friday. They had to get under the house to do that. I discovered that there was a trap door that led to a crawl space underneath. It had been screwed shut and had to be opened. After they were done, I decided to go down there and explore. Armed with a flashlight and my iPhone for shots, I squeezed myself through the trap door. It was cramped and claustrophobic. I'm amazed that the workmen were able to do any work there. I'm tiny compared to them. I was mentally prepared for rats and dead cats or something even worse, but there was nothing out of the ordinary down there. Nothing out of the ordinary in the town of ordinary, pun intent. Okay, so this takes place in the town of Ordinary in 2012? Oh, what the shit is this? What are you- <laughs> Shoebox poems! I've been really busy and stressed at work lately, but in spite of that, the shoebox and its contents are never far from my thoughts. You might say that I'm getting a bit obsessed about them. I've been trying to find out who the poet is, or the couple in the photos, but no luck. I asked my, uh, I asked the daughter of the previous owner about it. Her mother was nursing home and suffers from advanced Alzheimer's disease, so she wouldn't be able to help me. She was certain that no one in her family was a poet. She doubted that the people in the photos were anyone from her family. She told me that her mom liked to buy stuff from yard sales, and her guess was that the shoebox was something her mom picked up. I tried to find the shoebox. Okay, so this is probably Thomas Zane? Because I imagine he was the diver, and that would have been him and his wife? Question mark? Kept from sleep again last night by the sound of chimes. I sway so far below heaven, so high above hell. Frost creeps up the trunk of my spine. All is blackness through the, uh, these holes of my eyes. Just the wind in my skull and the wings of her crows? They perch on the gallows. They have pecked me clean. I made a chime from my bones. A diver not... A hanged man? Think about it. Oh, I'm thinking. In this temple of shadow and mist, there's a window. In the floor and the door in the ceiling, there is knowing. Uh, am I standing still or running or kneeling? So this is definitely, this is definitely Thomas. There's the T. What was his wife's name again? Barbara? B. Bertha. Bernice. Benedicta. Barbara. That would be it. Yeah, Barb. From bloom to gloom, our love like fire consumed. We burn our bridges, furniture, clothes, hair, flesh, and bones all too soon. We ran out of things to burn, but while it blossomed, our love was like a flower. Well, there's a nice circle. That's interesting. Uh, until the time comes around again, the shadow falls on this town again. It barely evening, but the shadow falls on me again. No one will miss us. Our faces ink black. They'll sell our things at the flea market. They'll never call us back. So she left with them. They'll wine her and dine her. We huddle naked in the alley. Nothing for sure. Fur needles tickle. We bathe in rainwater all the way to the ocean, the memory of slaughter. Until that time comes around again, the shadow falls on this town again. It's barely evening, but the shadow falls on me again. When I'm awake, I'm barely alive. When I sleep, I have two hearts, your heart and mine. The hell? Is that the lake? 
ay, 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 ay. This is this in this hall of mirrors built by liars. I am a pale reflection of myself. I wish it would shatter like glass under my heels, just like a sheet of ice when I close my eyes. That's how the mirror feels. Oh, mercy, thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. In her dreams to prevail. Why is her always... Prevail in her dreams to prevail. Is that hinting at Alan's wife? Question, is she saying 666 in this song? By the way, I think I just picked up on that. I think I just picked up on that bit. Anyway, your eyes were so cold. When you watched me go under, you were sitting in the boat. I floated down to the darkness like a cloud from a shark bite. I breathed out my life with you. The currents washed me away. I am the current. I let the currents wash me away. E's favorite line, a long talk with him about the un... Don't know what that says. Um, no damages, keep in mind for another time. My mother told me to no avail. If you play with shadows, you grow sickly and pale. You forget all the wonders the sun can unveil. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Oh, Dr. Hartman, Emil... Interesting. Rewrite? There's more of the circle. Even though that's just a coffee stain, there's more of the circle. Um, frightened of the shadows of the deep, he challenged me to a duel. I indulged him. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. I go underground, follow me underground. Everyone else has gone there, down to the ground. I'll take you underground. They chase the mystery. They are a mystery to me. And you'll think that of me when I tell you my tale. What we bring with us, sorry secrets and awkward lies, wet matches, a uh, yarning for overcast skies. Everything else down here has been stolen so many times. Everyone who walks down these steps dies. I go underground, follow me underground. Oh. Some are born to endless night. The dark page. Divorce me from all that is sane. Screaming mute darkness. Descend on this frail frame. I drown in fathomless black space. Light never scratched the depths of this domain. I see not, yet nothing could be worse than the shades. My mind calls herein, alone at my own wake. The unraveling of reason. Jesus. So this is just a blurry photo. We pillage in horror, hauling our loot. We swagger down alleys. We don't say please. The town is burning. We set it flame. We are the fire. What's gone out in your eyes? We are the maggots gnawing at your heels. We are the rain trickling down from the hole in your ceiling. We are the ants inside your walls and under the boards of your floor. We are eating your house. We are sharp rocks under your knees, in front of the altar. Uh, you're kneeling. We have no morals, no guilt, no qualms. We don't give a damn. The sewers are clogged, filled with waste. The water is rising. We'll make a ship out of your naive, broken dreams and lay siege to your sanctuaries. We are the ravenous horde of rats. We are the fangs. We are the beast. There'll be no more admiring gazes, no more courtesies no more gardens in spring we are the rising waste and you will be a drowned king real 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 quick just give me a sec just give me one sec just give me one second here Re real quick 
real quick. Just... Remedy rocks. I love them so much. Everyone working at Remedy, you're my favorite. You're my favorite. To every single writer, producer, director, the man himself, Sam, like, you're all killing it right now. Killing it. Nobody's doing better. Nobody's doing better. Incredible, incredible, okay. Incredible. So that is essentially part of, so that last one, no matter what, was written by Scratch. And you could probably assume that this was Scratch taking over. Like you can see Thomas Zane slowly descend into madness. Damn, that's great. Okay, as the photos are a bit blurry, I'll transcribe the poems. Right, right. This was the last one. Poem two. Bit blurry. Transcribe. Sorry, right, 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 right. It says the dark place below the poem. Right, right. Okay, so yeah. There's also of uh, Blake's inquiries of innocence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blurry. So we got that one. Blurry. We got that one. Blurry. Note. I uh, love good. Rewrite. Has been written next, the first stanza. This says, right, right, note, ease, favorite line. Okay, great, great, great. Transcribe. Note, there's another poem on the page as well. In this hall of mirrors built by liars, I'm a pale reflection of myself, pool. A couple of drawings, man face, some fir trees, and water maybe? Okay, a bit blurry. Poem 10, poem 11, poem 12. Okay, shoebox dream too. Yeah. I had another dream last night. When I woke up, a real scare. In the dream, I was visiting the previous owner of my house at the nursing home. Only in the dream, the owner wasn't a sweet old lady. He was a man, and he wasn't old. He was an, a young man with, a, with dark hair. Very good looking, in fact. I remember that he was wearing a funny jacket with old-fashioned elbow patches. So now she's dreaming about Alan. I was there to find out about the shoebox, but he was very agitated and didn't listen to me. The place was brightly lit. It was sunny outside, but he, uh, he was still very anxious and wanted me to turn all the lights on. He kept going on about the place being too dark. I remember being certain that all the lights were, already, uh, were on already, but that didn't calm him down. In the end, uh, he was screaming for me to turn the lights on. I was also starting to freak out, starting to think that something horrible was coming to take us away, and that's when I woke up. I was really thirsty. I got up from bed and went to get a glass of water. In the hallway, coming back, I suddenly saw a dark silhouette of a man outside the window. I must have screamed aloud. My heart stopped for a moment. I dropped the glass. Luckily, it didn't break. It's one of my favorites. I was really frightened. I rushed through the house, turning on all the lights. My first impulse was to dial 911, but after a moment, that felt silly. I told myself... I must have imagined the whole thing, seen my own reflection in the window. Of course, all the lights, uh, all the lights on inside, I couldn't see anything outside anymore. I ended up calling a friend of mine, Joss, who lives nearby, waking him up. He was kind enough to come over and check the place, bless him. Joss is a real angel. There was no sign of anyone outside. Luck uh, today, I'm definitely going to buy some yard lights. I've been meaning to do that for some time already. No light, no light. I've been very busy at work and too exhausted to post here for a while. Apart 
uh, for the nightmare, the other, the other night, which I had to get off my chest immediately, it still gives me the creeps. On a more positive note, the house is slowly starting to look really good, and I've been living here for a while. Here's a photo of my fireplace. I got the yard lights. Now I only need to get them installed. To be honest, I'm playing. I'm playing for time here, writing this. Not looking forward to going to bed. I was listening to the beautiful and brilliant Florence the Machine earlier in the song. No light, no light. Made me think about the nightmare again. Call 911. Men outside. Shadows. Dark coming. Help. More. I'm back and I'm okay. Well, not okay, but alive. They kept me in the hospital overnight so for observation, and then I spent a couple of days at my parents' house. On the night of my previous post, sorry if I frightened anyone, I had trouble going to bed. I was on my laptop listening to music. The TV was on the living room. I wasn't really watching it. But I was mildly amused by the fact that the episode in the crappy horror show uh, that I was that was on was about a girl who buys a haunted house and gets in trouble. It was a rerun of The Twilight Zone. Or something, probably Night Springs. It got ridiculous when the corny narrator started saying things like, She thought she had bought an ordinary house in an ordinary town, but nothing could be more uh, out of the ordinary than this house. I actually laughed out loud and walked to the living room to see. It was like someone was playing a practical joke on me, but then I immediately saw the men outside my window, dark shadowy silhouettes, and the power went out, and it was dark, and I could hear a window breaking in the other room, or in another room. I ran back to the kitchen where my laptop was. I grabbed it, rushed in the closet, shut the door behind me. I sat on the floor and dialed 911. I could hear sounds of them breaking in and insane shouts of uh, and laughter. I've never been so scared in my life. I could hear them getting closer. I stopped talking on the phone so they wouldn't hear me. I wrote the blog post. I don't know what I was thinking. Then they were behind the door and I got up, trying to keep it closed. It flew, violent, it flew open violently. I fell and hit my head. Last thing I saw was the glow of my laptop. Uh, was the sh Oh, in the glow of the laptop was a shoebox. It was sitting on a shelf. There's no way I could have uh, not seen it before if, I had, if it had been there since I went missing. Then all went black. I woke up in the hospital with mild concussion. The police said there were no signs of disturbance or break-in other than what they themselves caused when they came to check and found me. I don't know what to think. I've been very stressed at work. But I'm not going crazy. I didn't just imagine it all. It really happened. One thing is certain. This is my house, and I won't be frightened away by ghosts or shadows. This is my house, and I will fight for it if that's what it takes. So there. I just checked the shoebox there on the shelf in the closet. There's stuff inside that wasn't there before. Okay. Soon after my last update, someone contacted me. They found me through this blog. They said that they know a lot about what's going on about the origins of the shoebox contents, and that this kind of thing has happened before, elsewhere. They promised to tell me more on condition that I stop updating the blog. They said that this whole thing should be kept secret and hinted that it could be dangerous. There are people out there who think the contents of the shoebox can be very valuable and will be willing to commit crimes to get a hold of them. So probably the Blessed or any other rogue organizations. In a way, it felt a lot like my nightmare about the agent who came asking about the shoebox. Of course, this was totally different in many ways, but still, it reminded me of that, like the dream had come true somehow. I promised to think about what they told me, and I have. And that's the reason why there have been no updates for a while. They were friendly enough, but the more I thought about it, the more the whole thing felt like a threat. And that really pisses me off. It's a free country, and I can write about anything I want in my own blog. The shoebox and everything in it uh, came with the house, and thus it's mine. I've decided to keep updating the blog for now. Inside the shoebox. When I found the shoebox again, there were more poems inside and a battered old device, a switch of some kind. I actually had to go and ask about the local, neighbor, uh, the local hardware store uh, to be sure what it was. It's an old light switch. When you flick it, there's a solid, satisfying click. When I flicked it the first time, after finding it, all the lights in the house went out. I swear I'm not making this up. It turned out to be the whole neighborhood, actually. And the real reason for the power uh, uh, out turned out to be a thunderstorm rumbling above. But, talk about coincidence of a lifetime, 
I flicked the switch many times after and nothing strange has happened. I can't explain where this new stuff came from. Someone broke into my house and put it there? That makes no sense. I'll transcribe the poem soon. Okay, let me just check and see if that's what she actually does. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. Be, uh, attended? Offended. Thought this was about her. Of course it's not. I came looking for my princess. Instead, I found a witch wearing her face. No one in the family had noticed the change. She said, she becomes me. Through all the wicked things... By the way, speaking of witch, that would be the witch of the lake? Maybe? Through all the wicked things she did to me, her beauty kept me in a daze. I stared at her adoringly and forgot how she used to be as she tortured me for days and days she said she becomes me isn't it strange that with every wound she caused her beauty in the mirror to fade i hear she's already looking for another pretty girl to put in the old one's place she said she becomes me we're both so thin we wear our skeletons on the outside she becomes me Tightrope walking. Would you choose a safety net that traps you and kills the thrill? Thin weave of wires slices your flesh. I must prefer the dark air in between. Soft shadows hug you gently all the way to the ground. Which are you drinking? The water or the waves? More than anything, my dearest wish... He wanted to go from there to leave, but he could not change his heritage. The blood in his veins was ink, and the crown was too tall. To pass through the door, he was doomed to remain a king forever. Oh, God. Inside the shoebox, we killed four. There is, we don't know what. Neat stacks of hundred dollar bills, jewels like stars. The dreams of those who slept in this town. The dream of this town. When we open it, the dreamer will wake and we, all part of his dream, will be gone. Our wishes come true, the power to punch a hole into the universe. Inside the shoebox we killed for, there is coffee thermos, a flashlight, a box of ammo, two pages, amazing. Countless worlds. Inside the shoebox we killed for, there is a cat, poisoned or otherwise, dead or living, undead, uncat. Baleful spirits, all the evils of the world, no hope, nothing. Darkness. Emil can't see it. His view is too limited. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. Darkness before the act of creation, before the Big Bang, darkness uh, in? Darkness, the face of the deep. Upon the face of the deep. Upon the face of the waters, before light, before the primeval atom, before the world, before the poem. It can be creator, the creation, no, the, the creator. It has happened before and it will happen again. Interesting. So potentially the darkness that is inside the dark place is like a malevolent primordial, but like also before existence kind of thing. Like, uh, what you would imagine, what would that be? Greek? Chaos? The, the concept of chaos, the concept of like, there is this, like the true baddie, you know what I mean? Which I guess is why they can drop 666, or in some cases 665, because it's, it is like the, the like, you know, it's that pure, unadulterated, like evil, right? But it's pitch black, it's dark, it's nothingness. It is the end of existence. Nothing would be alive. It would be uh, uh, just like, you know, one of those like Final Fantasy villain things. Where he's like, I'll kill everyone. Like, you know, nihilism on a grand scale. I was surprised to find that such revulsion could shine in someone's eyes. How I hate your kind, he said as we sat down to dine on him. Not really chaos unless it involves decay. Um, I'm trying to think, like, but, like, defined-wise, also, wouldn't that be... 
Let me see. K A O S. Because it wouldn't be how we spell chaos. Okay. Nope, that is the new show from Netflix that already is canceled. Shout out to Netflix. Ah, it's K H, is what it is. Chaos was the mother and grandmother of other misty essences. Erebus, the mist of the netherworld, darkness. Uh, Ether, the ethereal mist of heaven, and Nyx. Chaos, primordial goddess. Chaos was lower atmosphere, surrounds the earth. Chaos was the first of the primordial gods to emerge at the dawn of creation. She was quickly followed by Gaia, Tartarus, and Eros. So, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is we're like, uh, you know, dealing with primordial stuff, which could be why the old gods of Asgard or whoever else that we meet along the way is like, nah, dude, that's the big bad. Interesting. A good friend passed away today, quite unexpectedly. A bit of bad luck there, but these things happen. It's It was nobody's fault, really. He was taken by a dark presence. We keep his things in a shoebox on our mantelpiece. E didn't find this funny. But it is what happens. Campbell's monomyth departure initiation return. Return by Alan Wake. Or maybe Thomas Zane in this case. But there you go. That's what that's that's what we're doing. That's that's what we've been seeing throughout Alan Wake is that monomyth uh, any additional notes? Coffee thermos, flashlight, a box of ammo. Okay. Any more additional things that you're going to add to it? Return. As said, this is not a poem. More like title page for something. The name of the author has been thoroughly and violently scratched out. Scratch. Written by the line, Campbell's monomyth, initiation return. Right. Okay, the last one. In another strange dream, very different from the previous ones, this was not a nightmare, quite the contrary. The diver from the photos appeared to me. He looked nothing like the photos, but it was the same man. He was the poet who had written the poems as well. In the dream, he floated in the air above me, as Zane did to wake. In the bedroom, as if we were underwater. He was wearing a strange, heavy diving suit, almost like a space suit. And he was shining with a bright light. He told me things that in the dream made perfect sense but now not so much I've made a habit of keeping a notebook and pen by my nightstand so that I can write down my dreams as soon as I wake up but even then I feel that I missed or misunderstood a lot of what he told me uh, already beginning to forget it while I was writing it down also when I read through my own notes now some of them make no sense but afterwards and still now I feel shaken by the powerful emotion I can uh, I felt in the dream. I'll try to explain the dream uh, as well as I can. The diver told me that a dark presence had taken over his girlfriend, the woman in the photo. He tried everything he could think of to banish it from her, but everything had failed. In the end, he finally understood what he had to do, finally understood the true nature of the dark place that was hidden under the waves of the lake where they lived. The lake was an opening to, uh, to dark place that was much bigger than the lake itself. In fact, much bigger than the whole universe we live in. He wrote one last poem, his masterpiece, a secret poem, a hidden poem, a poem that's not among the poems I found in the shoebox. And he took his girlfriend for one last dive. Together, they sank down into the depths far deeper than he had ever dived before. In the dream, I was there diving with them. And from the depths, something or some things surged up to meet them. Things of darkness, that uh, that, but bright things of light as well. The diver explained that these things, or these presences, were forever fighting a war between the forces of light and darkness. A darkness presence that had taken over his girlfriend, and a bright presence now came to take over him. And he surrendered his body to it, but at the same time, the essence of who he was uh, kept diving deeper, even ever deeper, holding the essence of his girlfriend, their spirits, their souls, the diver, or what was left of him, his true self, spoke the words of his secret poem. The poem described a new world, an island in this sea of darkness, a safe haven, a paradise, a baby universe. The nature of the dark place was such that anything dreamed up there, any dream or work of art, would come true. 
just as true as anything in our world can be. And the poem came true, and the essence of the diver and the essence of his girlfriend escaped from the darkness and disappeared into the new world to live there happily ever after. While their shapes, his now taken over by bright essence and his girlfriend uh, has been taken over by dark presence, surged up through the opening into the, uh, into the lake to our world to continue their battle there. When I woke up, I felt overwhelmingly happy and privileged of having been shown this. I'd never been moved by a dream and didn't think it could even be possible. Even now, even though I'd forgotten many details, the feeling remains a feeling of hope. I know that something amazing is coming, that something wonderful is going to happen. And at the time, I know that when it's done, uh, when it does, it will be something totally different from what I expected. Something I could never imagine, and I know it might take a long time before it does happen. No matter how long it takes, I'll be there waiting. Fascinating. So this is like a future hint of what is to come in the remedy verse. Okay, well that's that I mean that's one of them. Love that. Hold on, let me come back to here. What was this one? Sirensociety.io. Well. 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 Here we are. Uh, you found your way here. Welcome. How do we reach you? What? Okay, I'm just gonna turn that off. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that off as I enter this in. Jesse? It wants my phone number, and honestly, I'm giving them my phone number. Thanks for signing up. A message has been sent to confirm your subscription. Subscription to what? What did I subscribe to? What is the Siren Society? What is happening right now? All rights reserved. Siren Society. I can't do anything else right now. What if I reload? Reloading does nothing. You're saying there's terms and conditions? I can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the button that lets me see the, the page? Info. F12, eh? Hell yeah, okay. Uh huh. So, yeah, it doesn't let me, it doesn't, here's the problem. When I click this, it just gives me this now. I signed up. I didn't click the thing. You said it links to Poe's website? Open the incognito tab. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. Copy. Let's go back here. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah, that's absolutely what it is. It won't let me, it won't let me do this, but let me redo this. That's hilarious. Is Poe going to message me? Hold on. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Hey, when you have a sec, bear with me. I'll send you a clip in a bit. But you gotta... Ask Poe about this insane Alan Wake website. <laughs> I'm getting the inside scoop. I'm getting the inside scoop. It's happening. All right. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right, I hope I get an email. I hope I'm gonna be like, yo, what's this about? That's amazing, that's so cool. Okay, thank you all for your patience. I went down that rabbit hole and I'm so happy I did. I've never seen that ARG before, not once. And uh, by the way, you haven't had your mind blown yet? I don't know, I feel, I'm feeling pretty blown right now. 
The definition of art, a study by Dr. Diana Mormont, PhD. To truly comprehend the threshold within Cauldron Lake, we must first understand its attraction to art. However, even the definition of art is varied, as the range of crafts that fall under the name. To that end, we must open a track of research dedicated to defining and quantifying art, ultimately rendering the concept into a unit of measurement. To begin, let's try, uh, let's not try to understand humanity's definition of art, but rather Cauldron Lake's preferences. Past cases of Cauldron Lake's threshold activity uh, affecting reality have centered around writing, Wake 2010, cinematography, Zane, it's 1970. What about other mediums? We will need to test the viability of painting, poetry, music, photography, sculpting, dance, and so on, not to mention the myriad of genres or methods within each medium. And what about crafts outside of the most common artistic expressions? Does any act of creation on a high level of expertise merit the title of art? Baking, woodworking, etc. What about non-physical mediums? Why is music an art and philosophy is not? Does something become art due to its medium? It's quality or perhaps simply through the intent of expression or an equation made up of all three what would be the order of importance what thresholds must each factor reach for the equation to succeed i feel like the difference between husband and wife here is that the wife is trying to quantify everything and the husband's like i'm just gonna kidnap an artist to make him like paint with blood you know <laughs> like that's kind of, and also Thomas Sane was a poet, but Thomas Sane also made the film. So I guess they're they're doing Alan Wake artist Thomas Sane film. I don't know. Was there more to that? Oh. Clearly, there is much to determine. We must begin with developing a methodology using a vast range of arts and general creative endeavors, both physical and mental. Then find a way to test the potential connection to Cauldron Lake's threshold. Cauldron Lake is an enigma with many layers to pull away if we're to understand it and ultimately bring it under control. The work will take years. So they're just obsessed with control, but there's only one girl controlling shit. That's Jesse Faden. And maybe my maybe my one true love, Emily. I don't know. I have no answers for you. I looked at this one, right? I believe I did. September 13th, 2023. Notes regarding the concept of the tortured artist. A romanticized image of the sensitive artistic temperament, yes. But there may be truth in the cliche. It's no secret Rudolph Lane has been unhappy here for years. Right. But, we did uh, this. The lake house was underwater. The Marmont's ambitions had finally been realized. Jules had dangled the painting like a lure and hooked an ocean. Yep. Their machines couldn't hold it. A fault in the system. The water rushed in, filled it until it was ready to burst. All their successes and failures had led them here. The work had made them into monsters. But the yep. lake house was still theirs. It always would be. They could feel an outsider trespassing in their labs. I know you're here. They called out to the dark. They hunted floor by floor. They wouldn't let the intruders stop their progress. This was their home, their beloved tomb beneath the waves. Interesting. Is that the past or is that about us arriving? Right? Do they not want me here? Okay, let's just start from the bottom. Letter from Darling. Janice received a letter from Darling about a request you made to bring in live subjects? What were you thinking? Do you know how that looks? Jules. What did he say? Was it approved? No, he refused. You know protocol does not allow for this sort of thing. And he says he will be making a trip to Lake House to check in on us soon. Like we're children. This is very bad for our reputation, Diana. Please, if you have an idea like this, come to me first. Abandoned project archived. Diana, considering the details on the new page we have found, I believe we need to abandon the research into Alan Wake's writing. We must not endanger our staff. So he went ahead and brought humans in anyway. Don't pretend like you're worried about them, Jules. You're looking out for your own ass. The fact that the pages are detailing future events means they are the correct method. 
We have to learn how to harness their power and dictate events to meet our goals, not wakes, whatever those may be. The ATDs are producing better and better results. We just need to keep doing the work. No, Diana, I'm looking at the page right now. Constant imbalance, out of control, a crack in the lake house. If we continue with this research, we will lose our facility. Perhaps more than that. What is the point of succeeding if we are dead? I'm the head of research here, and I forbid you from proceeding. You can't forbid anything. You're not going to keep me from the most important work of my life. If you're too much of a coward to keep pushing ahead, then I'll finish what we set out to do here alone. We have plenty of ongoing lines of research. I suggest you pick one, leave Wake's writing to me. You always needed uh, me more than I needed you. Damn. Hello, Dr. Moment. I received a formal complaint about Jules' behavior. You claim he maliciously keeping research material away from your team, but he says they've simply been misplaced. I understand you're frustrated. I recommend you giving his team a week or so to find the pages and return them to you. If this issue persists, at that point, then let's discuss your desire to escalate the issue. How does that sound, Harry? Damn. Okay. I'm gonna reload real quick. There's nothing in here to loot, right? Nope, but there is a bunch of stuff out here. Well, that's not very helpful. I absolutely do not like this. So this is kind of a don't go this way vibe, I guess. All right, so this is just a creepy hellscape. But maybe, no, nope, still a creepy hellscape. So I can't go that way. So they want me to go back where I came from. Where all the monsters were. The things that could kill me. Alright, I'm gonna make the assumption that this is it. That the, that, the, that the maze has ceased, and I'm literally just going to run straight ahead. Right, game? Interesting. So everything kind of ceased. Also... There's something here, but not. I'm assuming that's because it's in the alternate reality version of that room. That's swell. That's nice. That's neat. Okay. We'll save and then back upstairs. I guess we're going to the fifth floor now. Well, sub-basement floor. Four. Five. Nope, because this is not the right way. Well, son of a Where bitch. Where did the computer go? <sighs> I genuinely... I'm just going to make the assumption it's down in there. But boy, I don't like it. Tell you what. Where the hell would it be?
I got this one, right? Oh, never mind. I did not. 2017. Progress in Lake House's directive to understand and suppress Cauldron Lake. Threshold has improved this year. Research in the areas of threshold energy detection and measurement have made great strides, allowing us to work with the investigations department in construction of an early warning system. That's the one outside. Exploring the relationship between the shadow and sources of light continues to be difficult without active threshold manifestations to test against. Additional means of containment and offensive measures against the shadow have similar, uh, similarly been difficult to develop without an active AWE through theoretical research, uh, though theoretical uh, research continues. Research into threshold suppression techniques is ongoing with no clear determination regarding their viability possible at this time. The team has been testing counter frequency projection in the vicinity of Cauldron Lake. All findings have been sent to Dr. Darling as requested. In summary, 2017 has been a successful year with further promising breakthroughs predicted in 2018. Signed, The Bosses. Research Mandate 2020. Before Dr. Darling was lost in the lockdown of the oldest house, he tasked the lake house with discovering the nature of the shadow and its ability to convert art into reality. During our diligent research in phenomena, uh, it has become clear that Darling was not dreaming big enough which leads us to a new goal of the lake house and talented staff to create a stable connection. Right. So this is when he like went badonkers after he arrived there. And then Jules went kind of crazy. Threshold traversal has only ever been possible outside the oldest house and occasionally during alter world events. Though this is often uh, inside the oldest house, by the way, uh, involuntary process. The shadow's known attraction to art provides us the perfect opportunity to create the world's first controlled bridge between dimensions that can be safely traversed in other in e either direction. Precise methods are yet to be determined, though teams will soon be formed to explore processes involving right. And they did that. And that's Jules. Okay. I still don't know where the hell the damn elevator is. Yo, light. Right, so we're we're kind of boarding on. Well, the reason uh, the reason why I see in chat wait, so they just kept doing it. Uh, the reason why they kept doing it is because we saw the video where Jules was kind of like f darling, f them all, I'm gonna show them. So they were already being influenced by. Uh, the shadow, the dark place, they were already being influenced by it. And then when the, the FBC got locked down, it was even more, it controlled them even more, because, like, you know. There's also, oh, I like this. Damien DP, been digging into the source code of that uh, site, the IO site, and along with the siren text image, that is used the site. There's a stored text animation. There's also an odd American flag image inside that asset folder that isn't actually called anywhere on the site. It actually has way too many stars in the flag. Interesting. Here's my thought. Can I just run forward? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so worried. That's just gonna kill me. I don't, I don't know where the hell it would be. You fig, you figured there would be something around here that would let us get to the elevator and get the hell out of here. Did I look in this side at all? You figured you'd be able to see it. Right? Like, it wouldn't just be a long hallway into nothing. I just don't know where to look. Can I do this? Oh, Lord. God 
damn it! Both the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years, he steals credit from my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can do that, then what is stopping me from going down to that lab? And I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or, or misaligning the receivers or both. It's the same thing in principle. Well, that's no good. Some big experiment tomorrow. Style. I can't find the details Honest. anywhere. Bastard is hiding them. All those years he's from Dr. Casper Darling. My ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized. Oh, that is. I couldn't really stop thinking about this new direction for the lake house after I got back to New York. I hope pivoting to research threshold blank. Pages. I need Reality manipulation work. effect is too much shock Suddenly, for you. The exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he you could can designate that, the artist as P6. So this would be Lane, right? To that lab. And, I, and I don't know, just this is what Lane's original artwork or looked like. Misaligning the receivers or both. It's the same thing in principle. Hey, I'll take achievements. And that's what does this mean, though? I don't. He booked the lab. What is what should I recognize tomorrow? this the red tree? I can't find the details. Why don't I anywhere. why doesn't this stick with me? What am I missing? Is hiding them. Oh, son of a bitch. 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 Oh, son of a fucking rich jewels. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript Control. pages I need for my work. P Suddenly, six. The no pages fucking that I way. I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can do that, then what is stopping me from going down to that lab? And I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or it's misaligning Dylan. the It's Jesse's brother. I have no idea what the. It's the same what does that mean? In so wait, this is all Dylan's art? Pull the light switch. He took the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. Son of a bitch. I can't find the details Son anywhere. Son of a bitch. That bastard is hiding them. All those years he steals wow. my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Wow. Okay, well, this isn't good. Just he is actively At all? Bureau research. I mean, if he can do that, then what is there is anything else around here? And I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or, or misaligning the receivers or both. It's the same thing in principle. What is... So can someone remind me the significance of this? What it was? What was this supposed to mean? This is driving me crazy, and I cannot for the life of me figure it out. Some big experiment tomorrow. Is I can't the find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years he steals credit from my ideas. And I just don't my remember. Work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized. The tree in the oldest house. Oh, what do you think really it means, Zach? Rituals. I don't like that. The tree is the hiss. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm getting at. Pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau. Research. Yeah, I don't think it's anything specific, but it definitely has like a hiss vibe. I, mean, I don't know, man. Do that, uh, oh, we got another floor drawing. From going down to that lab. And ah. I don't know. Just okay. Well. The amplifiers or I do enjoy the, the red and black. Both. 
A lot of this art has it's red and black in it. In principle. And the red and black is the symbol of both the hiss and uh the the oldest house the lab. Some big experiment board, right? tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. Okay. That bastard is hiding them. All those Quick years, years he steals words. credit for my ideas one, and my work, three, and now times. he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. <laughs> oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages. I need... The Ocean View Motel is a dimensional intersection. The doors from the lobby can lead anywhere. But I didn't end up in the lobby this time, which was definitely unusual. No, we're not going to go that way? Okay. Thought I heard the music from there. Oh? Oh? So these are what was described. In so that's the oldest house. But also a lot of this appears to be... That's the former director, but with spirals. Panopticon? But the Panopticon is at headquarters. Yeah. I'm outside in a forest. The sun is shining. Birds are calling. I feel dirt beneath my feet. A breeze. Everything smells like green. I'm not here. I'm in a forest. Sun is on my face. Birds are flying past. Leaves are all smoking. In a forest. I'm not here. Yes. For those who are curious, I just saw in chat. Yeah. That's Trench, and then Faden is coming through in the swirls. That's a really cool piece of artwork, by the way. So, for those of you who remember, this man literally gave away some hints of what Alan Wake 2 was going to be. If he's up in here. Oh, shit. Agent Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. Identify yourself. I'm... It's quiet. Who are you? It's been a long time since I've seen anyone. This is an FBC containment unit. Why is the Bureau detaining you? I'm where I belong. Everyone I meet here is either a painting or a paracriminal. There's a sign over there for the Panopticon. The Panopticon's only in New York, in HQ. Is this the oldest house? I think that's where I am. So you are inside the oldest house. Is anyone else alive? I can't. It's a waste of time. Hey, this is important. FBC headquarters went dark four years ago. What exactly happened in there? We were attacked. Mm. 
No, no, not again. Not yet. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, stay with me. Stay with me. What attacked the oldest house? I need to know. Something's changing. Outside. Can you feel it? I can hear it. It's getting worse. You can't stay, can you? Hold on. I need to know if I can... Tell Jesse I tried. I really did. It's a lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. Is hiding them. All those years he steals credit from my ideas what? and my work. And what? now he's scared of being plagiarized. What the hell? Is really fucking rich. That was clearly a tease. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what it teased though. That was cool as hell. I don't know what the hell I looked at, but that was awesome. We need to go through that frame by frame. I definitely saw so I saw some what looked like mold. Yeah, I don't maybe oh, damn. All right, here we go. But the question is, didn't the gateway to the Hiss universe collapse? Didn't we shut that down? So the 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 Five. Right, counting to six. Um, but the idea of what, like the the portal, of the hiss world's gone, so there shouldn't be any more new hiss, right? I don't know. Okay, so we are. Off the map now. Okay. I have no heals. We're not gonna grant Jesse a single heal. Right, so that man's about to pop out of there and I'm gonna have to blast his ass like the murderers of old. The Marmots had opened the door into Cauldron Lake's threshold. It was forced. It was unstable. Shutting the experiment down was the only option. Mm-hmm. And... Monster. Oh? Murdered by his wife? Yep. Jesus. 
Cool, 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 cool. Well, glad I, glad, glad I did that. <laughs> that woman, Super Saiyan punched me. She went, Gah! and I was like, need a light? Come on, come on, lady. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Not like this. Oh, my God. All right. Well, you know, one punch will do it to you. This is not how the story goes. Ooh, I hope not. <laughs> All right. That work? Yeah, that worked. Oh, shit. She made me jump. She made me jump. I am so... Okay. All right. Yeah, not nearly as much heals as you would expect. There's nothing to heal with. I'm like a one and done kind of guy right now. All right. Let's not die. What the dinkus? Oh, I'm stuck on a thing. Oh, son of a bitch. What the hell? There you go, you big idiot. Oh, that didn't do shit to her. All right, well. Shit, dodge two. at that time too i felt it she just got me god damn all right we'll get this i'm not even stressed this is just hard with no heals plus she hits like a like a like a beast look at that how am i supposed to i got no i got no love there at all
go. That's not good. That's not good. This is the time where a cool person would look for. What the shit? No, we're not gonna. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's another part of this fight that I'm learning to do. Press something? Do I do something here? What? Okay, so I need to dodge that. But I'm not turning this on. Unless there's a power thing I have to fuck with. Great googly moogly. Just gonna have a heal for me, please? Nope, not a heal to be found. Not a heal to be found. I don't know what to do here. Okay, well, she back. For the love of shit. Okay. Not a single heal? That's so rough, dude. That's like the worst kind of RNG that a person could have. Now you're gone. I'm gonna just crawl over here and get health. Get health. Okay, that's fine. Keep throwing, keep throwing your balls. Well, that don't make a lick of sense. Salt. My God! Come on, lady! Come on, you dumb, stupid ass scientist! Well, I'm kind of stuck here in the corner. Difficulty spike on this is like ridiculous. I'm gonna beat it. I'm not even stressed, but like, my god.
just... The problem with the dodging is I keep dodging into shit in the room. What the shit? What? I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a wall. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Duck! Fuck a duck! Fuck a duck, you dumb bitch! Fuck a duck! Oh, oh, I hate her. Oh, I hate her. Oh, I hate her so much. Oh, I'm going to write a strong worded letter to scientists everywhere. Okay, guys. Gone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Nothing, brother! Nothing! Well, that's cool. That's neat. That's cool. God damn. God damn. Like, I just, like, I just got stomped and then they gave me nothing. The containers gave me nothing. What do you mean she hit me with a follow up? You bitch! You bitch! You dumb bitch! You dumb, stupid bitch! What do you mean you hit me with a follow up? You don't get to hit me with a follow up. That's not even how hits work. You missed. You whiffed. You fucking whiffed, you dumb bee. Is so ridiculous. Oh, I hate this one so much. The threshold's about to fracture. Ugh, where'd she go? Yep, 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 yep. Let's just get the reloads in now. Well, I mean, I, you know, those heals, F them, I guess. Jesus Christ, so I don't need to hit her again? so low right now. Like, I hate this woman. Fuck you! Fuck you, you dumb bitch! Oh my god, I hate, I, oh, I hate this fight. Oh, I hate this fight. This can kiss my whole butt. Zero heals! Zero heals! Why? Hit her! Hit her, flashlight! Hit her!
It's about time I roped this dope. No ammo. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'll just get hit in the back, I guess. Not a heal to be had. Love of God, give me something good. Come on, you dope. Let's get roped. Zombie. Uh, how the fuck do I defeat both of them? Well, that's one way. Yeah. Rope a uh, dope, and you a dope, bitch. Angry, I get it. I gotta you know what the Marmonts did to you to Rudolph Lane. I will do whatever I can to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. The putrid white he could never wash away. The Marmonts are dead. I, I don't know if uh, that's any sort of consolation, but. Done. The pain, it was all over him. The threshold is tearing itself apart. I need to shut this down. Look, I'm sorry. I know you didn't make a choice here. It's not fair, but I have to shut this threshold down before it fractures. Hmm. Estevez stood in the forest just outside of Bright Falls. She watched her team detain Alan Wake and Ilmo Casa, stuffing them into black SUVs. She realized this was the moment Wake had been writing in the vision she had seen. The story was coming true. She pushed the thought out of her head. 
It had been a good tip, a way to find Wake. Nothing more. Alan Wake! After the threshold event collapsed, I was back at Cauldron Lake. Oh, that's right! That was somewhere else. This is a, oh, I'm so dumb! I saw Alan Wake there. He was writing about me finding him in Bright Falls, in the woods. It was a good tip. I called the surviving members of my team, and I told them to meet me there. You know, these cases... I'm so dumb. ...less ambiguous or easier. But this one... This, this was tough. Because protocol says entities like the Taken are monsters, threats. But the Marmots were monsters way before the Shadow got to them. So at the end of the day, what's the difference? Oh, I'm so, I feel so silly. For some reason, I put it in my mind that Booker, the Bookers, were taken and this is where they ended up but i forgot this is a prequel to the events of alan wake 2. this is a story that uh, uh estevez is telling saga so they were brought there originally for this this purpose or at least he was and then i guess his wife met him there Right, but if they came there themselves and the FBC took advantage, then he ended up outside of that building, but they never mentioned that he was at the... Maybe he did. Maybe he did mention he was at a workshop. I can't remember. It happens during... Yeah, 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 yeah. But it happens before Estevez meets with Alan. So really it would be like in the middle of the story. So I guess they were already there and then she, okay, all right. But then that doesn't explain why they vanish later unless they really were taken by the lake, in which case, whoops. Yeah, you don't see the bookers anymore. Although maybe they escaped, I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't particularly matter in the end. Ed could have been taken after the diner scene. You do in Deerfest, but isn't Deerfest like a messed up alt reality version of Deerfest where like the, the, the shadow, the dark place is taken over? Like it isn't really real Deerfest. It's like a messed up version. Kind of, if they were dead, they shouldn't be there. I mean, I don't know what the rules are, man. So where is his wife? Great question. I don't know. I don't know. But again, I don't know that it's particularly important. But I don't know. Because she signed him up for that, and then she vanished. But did she sign him up? Or was that just what he was told by the FBC when they picked him up? They do argue about leaving town. That's true. Maybe she left and they picked him up. I don't know. Or he stuck around and she didn't. And that's why they got him. I don't know. Again, it doesn't really matter, but you know me. I'm a stickler for like, what's the information here? What's going on? 
Hey, Kyle, killing it. Clay, lovely. Amazing. Was Saga talking in this at all? Are we about to get a Saga scene? Did I just spoil myself? I don't remember Saga actually being in this. Unless because they mentioned her, they say they have to include her in the... I don't know. No, the intro saga was mentioned by Estevez. Janina was talking to her. All right, is there... Can I, can I click? Uh, skip. Bless everyone who worked in this game. You're awesome. I love you. Right. Okay. Here's the thing. Can I see... It's not going to be under options. What would that be under? Not cosmetics. Hmm. Let me really quickly uh, see if someone on the internet has this. Ooh, that last fight made me rage so bad. Um, we still have no idea what the ending of Alan Wake 2 means if Alan's saga, Casey, actually got out, where Alice is, what Zane was. Well, I mean, that's the whole point. It's a mystery. That's, I mean, we might get an Alan Wake 3 one day. Who knows? But that's the mystery of it. Uh, let me really quickly. Uh, yeah, here we go. Shout out to every single person who 100% by every single, I mean the the three people that posted this. Bless your sweet souls. I love you to death. Um. Hear it. No, if I see, I tried. Okay, here we go. Big time plays. Uh, this shout out to Gameplay. That's this person's name. I get. I mean, okay. Shout out to you, Gameplay. I really did. Okay, so this is the circle again, and they keep showing the circles, and they mention the circles. How much you want to bet the paintings that Lane was making, where they describe the paintings? That's going to be... Someone said earlier this DLC can be accessed in the main story now. Maybe Saga has new lines to link it. Oh, interesting. Okay. That could possibly be true. So I wonder... So... Remember how we were getting all the... So this is Polaris, I believe, or some form of it. All right, let's... let's. Yeah, so we got a dark circle and a light circle. There's there's our Polaris. Okay, let's... Uh, let's... All right, can we do this the old-fashioned way? Uh, subtitles, playback speed. Hell yes. 0.25! Let's go. Terrifying. CIA Terrifying. I'm gonna just try. I'm gonna just lower the volume. Terrifying. You really did. Let me blast this out, and the first thing we see is Polaris. But also the orbs, the different circles, that looks like space. And then we're give, given more. There's the white version, there was a black version. And they did mention light and dark as competing forces. Right? There's there's the dark covering the light. That is Jesse's brother, I think, still. But you saw there there was a quick. Hold on, do you see that flash? Like the inverse of him? That was interesting. Right there, there's, right? So it does that. That's interesting. All right, there's the brother. And you can tell it's been some time because he's no longer bald, he has a beard. This takes place clearly the guy we got, the version we got. Yes. 
So that is... What appears to be a city, but is not a city because it's fake. So this could be, um, one of the recreations in the oldest house. And that's just a city street. One night only. What is it? One night only what? that flickers and now we're here but you'll notice the background the background like it's still this looks like it's real right but it's not because there's fbc stuff here where people would take notes more of the hiss right that's very hiss like that is the mold i believe yeah or something akin to the mold So we're back. And this is someone interesting. Maybe it's Jesse in a long jacket, but I don't think it is. However, the interesting thing here is the giant circle slash eyeball slash whatever in the distance. And as the camera turns, you can see birds over here. I don't know if, if you can... You can see birds... Uh, I probably should make this bigger so you can see what I'm looking at. Uh, let's do this, and then we'll do this. You can see the birds off to the side. Right, so it's flipping upside down. My question is, based on the images so far, is this really New York? Because people around the world would notice if it was New York had just... Or is it some alternate dimension? Or is it some version of reality? Because if you look... Do you see it? Oh, shit. You just missed it. Look at this. As it turns, right? The Polaris thing it, it, like the symbol is making see that pyramid it made a black pick black uh, pyramid but again this i don't know what this translates to is real new york or not i feel like we're going to discover this is a threshold and it's not necessarily real new york but a threshold that opened up within the oldest house that leads to a new york is it the real New York? I don't know. There is a red circle. So I bet that's his related. There's a blue circle, which I think... I don't know what that is. And then we're back. Right, so that's S. I don't know. I don't know where this is going to lead us to. If it turned out to be the Max Payne version of New York, that would be so effing crazy. That would be wild. I, I Honestly, I wonder if we're going to get more information in Firebreak. Probably not. I feel like that's more of a get your friends involved in the Control universe and make them excited for Control so that then they might check out Control too, right? I don't think it's going to be like a lore-heavy game. Um... But I'm very curious. I don't know. He said they were attacked, so what could attack the old the oldest house? Well, the oldest house they said they said Firebrick will have relevant lore that ties into the story. Yeah, 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 sure. But I don't think it's gonna be like crazy. It's probably gonna be during the lockdown. The question is there's multiple questions. One. We cut off the hiss from our reality. We also fought a giant centipede eyeball monster underground. There's varying factions, but...
I don't know. I don't know what could have caused this. And they've been very tight on details. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Wait, so the Ocean View send her there? Maybe. Maybe. What about the board? Great question. Great question. There's a lot of unanswered questions. I think that's very important. What? I'm actually excited because I don't have a clue. Yeah, like, I mean, the mold was a thing, but we killed the big mold. I don't know. I don't... It feels like... If the Hiss were the main bad guy of Control 2, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but I would be like, didn't we do this already? So I don't... I don't know. Plus, the Hiss aren't necessarily malevolent. The Hiss just exist. So... I, I don't know. There was mold, and then there was the clog. There's a lot of things. I don't know. I have a lot of questions about what this could mean. The one night only sign could be a reference to the late night show from Alan Wake 2. I would love it if they brought Mr. Door in as sort of like a connecting tissue kind of thing. I don't know. A lot of questions, not a lot of answers. That's kind of the, that's kind of the name of the game. I am glad that I played this one though. This one had a lot of really cool stuff in it. Plus, we now know exactly what was going on and we understand more of how the darkness, the shadow, the dark place works and how it seeps into our reality. The question is Door was who in in Quantum? Uh he was he was Hatch. The Door is Hatch. He's he's all the different versions. At least according to Tim Breaker. Blue circle might have to do with the mold? Interesting. Hmm. If Control 2 deals with the multiverse, which I assume it will, Door has to be a major character. And I feel like that's not necessarily our New York, right? It could be a New York that we will see. Because again, if the last four years the FBC has been on lockdown, there's no way New York City's destroyed. Unless it, unless when the game comes out, they said it then, they're like, we failed. <laughs> like, if we play Firebreak and at the end, it's like, you guys sucked so bad, New York's destroyed. Like, I just don't, I, I don't know. But it could be. They could go, they can swing big. No clue. Big, big fan of all of it. Also, I think it's really funny that I window captured this. The, all right. Anyway. That is it for me, I think. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you so much to everyone over at Remedy and to Epic Games for sponsoring this stream. Uh, please pick it up right now. If you have not played Alan Wake 2, please do so. You'll love it. Play Alan Wake 1. Play, Re play like all the Remedy games. You will enjoy yourself. And be on the lookout. Now that I played this, I have a little bit more information. Be on the lookout for uh, my big Remedy Verse video. It's going to be good. It's going to be good.